If your house is broken into or someone hit your car and took off and you call police for help, you want your call for help answered right away. But with officers stretched so thin, there's concern it's going to take longer to respond. What do we tell the victims who lost a loved one in a motor vehicle collision that we're treating as a homicide? What do we tell those people now? We won't have any answers. To improve response times, the Syracuse Police Department has temporarily reassigned officers working on the K-9 unit, traffic division, and gun violence suppression detail to the patrol unit. A decision Moran says not only hurts the community, but his fellow brothers and sisters in blue. I'm concerned being out there for my safety, the safety of my colleagues, and the safety of the, of the community. SPD said in a statement to News Channel 9 that the duties formerly held by these units will be picked up on an overtime or on-call basis. And they continue on to say a new academy is currently in session with graduation planned for mid-December and another class planned for January 2022. We are years years behind the eight ball with all of these retirements and resignation. This is not going to be fixed overnight. SPD says this issue isn't unique to Syracuse, but the PBA wants more leadership. We need leadership to bring the troops together, to come up with long-term solutions, to lift that morale. Requesting immediate action to meet the needs of police and the community. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9.